Hey, how you doing? I'm Tom, Northern California, out on the coast here, and uh, I'm making a video today. I'm not a video maker, I'm a robot maker. So bear with me through the video, if you would, please. I'm going to try to explain a little bit about this mechanism here, and uh, I hope I can entertain you a little bit. But I want to start off by saying that this is an experimental stage, this robot right here. And uh, I've done some tests outdoors. It's been through some some pretty rough terrain, which later I'm going to try to make another video. I don't know if I can shoot with the camera and run the control at the same time. It was very difficult to do. But anyways, um, maybe I could recruit one of my fans or something to run the camera. I want to explain a little bit about what I got going here anyway. This is kind of, as you can see, I'm an old school guy, and this is kind of old school design right here. And the methods, some of the methods that I use, like for instance, uh, if you go to your local hardware store, you, you'll find a little yard cart there, you know, that you can pull around like a, like a wagon, you know, and, and it has a steering mechanism on the front. Well, I, you know, I parted that out and got the front end of this robot right here to work with it. And uh, I had to power it somehow, so I had an old junk uh, Chrysler minivan down in my yard and, then, and I got the uh, I got the electric seat out of it and the electric seat had some had some pretty good motors and drives in there that that you can implement into your robots pretty versatile unit too and stable and doesn't use much voltage very strong up in the front right here I don't know if you can see this if I got the camera in the right spot but I'll get some close-ups and stuff and show you what's going on in there later. See, I, I have this, it's, it's got the uh, electric uh, seat motor involved in here. And then it has the track here. And the track, I have this bar welded onto the front of it. And it just turns the steering right here. You know, maybe I can, I can uh, plug it in or something right here to show you. I can, I can plug it. See, it's still in the experimental stages. I don't, see, so, you know, I don't even know where my plugs are here at the time. See, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to plug in my, my receiver. It's a regular airplane receiver. See, I have it right here. This is it. You know, and I just plug it in there. And, you know, I don't know if you can hear it. A little bit of chatter, a little bit of chatter, maybe adjust that or something later. But I want to demonstrate the front wheel mechanism, how that, that works, see. And uh, it just turns like that, basically. Basically. Don't be fooled by that, it's very strong, very strong. And um, like I say, this front end, you know, and the rest of this robot is still quite experimental at this point. Uh, this we're reinventing the wheel right now. If you go to my website, you'll see that we're trying to reinvent the front wheel for this, and uh, we'll explain a little bit about that too later. But uh, basically, this unit runs on electric wheelchair motors right here, Merit cart motors. I think uh, cart motors. I got this pair of motors right here on eBay for uh, fifty bucks, which I thought was a great deal. You know, very powerful motors, very. Clean running motors and work on 12 or 24 volts. On, I choose to run 12, 12 volts on these motors. And I got two gel cells here from uh, from wheelchairs, two gel cell batteries in there. They're, I've had them probably, I've run it for an hour so far straight and still wasn't necessary to charge it. So, um, yeah, anyways, where was I? I'm losing track now of, of myself. Is what I do. All right, I'll explain the, the control system. A lot, of, a lot of, you know, robot builders using these high-level controls, you know, that they're all electronic nowadays. Well, this one's kind of old school right here, but uh, I like how it, how it functions and, and it handles a lot of power. And these motors sometimes draw a lot of power. Uh, Speed controls, they, they, you know, with electronics you get a lot of speed controls too. And you can possibly get some analog controls as well for speed, but I like to use the sprockets. 
I like to use the chain sprockets on, on my robots because I can just change the sprockets and change the speeds of the motors and, you know, substitute torque for speed. <coughs> so I run on 12 volts, very cool, and uh, everyone says, well, can you make it do donuts or can you, you know, can you go faster? I mean, well, why? You know, I'm a robot. I don't, I don't want to go faster. At some point, I want to put a, you know, a, 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 maybe an arm up here, and I'm thinking about maybe kicking the, kicking the football, making field goals with it. I'm a football coach, too. So, at any rate, you know, speed is not the factor for me. More, more so, I concern myself with torque and, and controllability. So, I, I wanted to say, with this control mechanism right here that I'm that I'm deploying. I, I didn't want to run over any small children, so I, I kind of wanted it to be pretty pretty safe. So uh, using the using the, uh, the remote control, as you just saw, also does forward and reverse. I don't want to drive off the table though. It's 150 pounds. And it makes a mess. <laughs> Here's a servo. See, it's a basic servo unit. This is what we use in, in the robot to get control. I'm going to move this lever on this control here. This moves. This little motor. Very easy. And I'm telling you all things that you, you already know, of course. I mean, you, same, same things you use in um, remote control airplanes and so forth. This, see, this is a micro switch. I don't know if you can see it. See that? It's just a micro switch. And it, it, it's on and off. Very easy, see? Very easy to operate. But uh, you don't want to run too many amps through this thing. You, you know, you don't want to run this motor directly off this micro switch because, you know, as soon as you come under load, you're going to burn, burn the micro switch out. Which probably wouldn't get you in an accident, but it would burn some wires and it's embarrassing. And I've done that plenty of times, so. The micro switch. Key. Remember the micro switch, all right? That's, it's kind of key in this control system right here, which I'm going to give you some close-ups. And on my website, I have a, a total layout of what we did with this, with this control circuit right here. So the servo, it goes to the micro switch. And then, in turn, goes through the 40 amp relay, all right, basic car relay. This micro switch, by the way, was like $1.65 on the run. I can I tell you where to get them. You buy ten, you get you know you get them for a dollar sixty five. Same with the relay. Now the relay, this is the key to this the relay, right? And I'm a simple guy, simple old school technique. So I, I like to use this relay right here. It's pretty safe and strong at forty amps on one of these relays. And uh, it's a single pole double throw relay, basic on off switch right here. Controlled by the micro switch. Right? Controlled by the servo. These three, three things together make it pretty safe running the motor control system for this robot right here. So uh, what I'm going to do with it is, uh, you know, I'm going to eventually uh, take it right off here off the bench and make another video and get back to you and show you how this thing runs. And uh, I hope you check back with me. Thanks. Tom here from Gualala. They call me Gualala Smooth. See you later.